Welcome back to Clay Pigeon in Dorset. This is where a former Formula One world champion started his career. Earlier, I spoke to Paul Skip, the club chairman. Most people in karting know this is, this is Jensen Button's spiritual home. This is where he started karting. He lived up the road, I think. What do you, what do you remember about Jensen? Were you around then? Uh, I was around towards the end of his time here. Um, and he was always sort of like the star of the circuit. And obviously John as well, his father. And this weekend, the Rotax Festival, is this going to be an annual event based just here at Clay Pigeon? Yes, the idea is for the festival to stay here at Clay Pigeon. We've already booked next year's date, and on the promotion mugs that we've sent out, we've given them the dates to put in their diary so that it, uh, they already know what's going on. And uh, various prizes on offer. You've got the O plate, E plate for Mini Max, but you've got those world finals tickets from Rotax. They're very, very valuable indeed for the uh, juniors and the seniors, are they not? They are. And we are greatly appreciative to JAG uh, for these tickets. Uh, when the festival was first in, brought about, uh, we didn't have either the O plate or the E plate here. They've been included since. Well, is there another Jensen button on this grid? Time will tell. It's the Minimax E plate with Ryan Taylor Truman on the front row alongside Sebastian Marlowe, James Watson and Sean Cuss, Harrison Collins and Harry Newman Oakley with Michael Salmon, Daniel Yates, Machi Hamera and Spencer Schinner. It's going to be an interesting one in the top 10. A few other drivers to keep an eye on for. Crossley, Voisin, Blackman and Nelson complete the grid. Only 14, but that doesn't mean we're going to get a boring one. Come on, it's Minimax and it's a clay pigeon. And the E plate championship, the English championship, is on offer. Ryan Taylor Truman has been the class of the field so far this weekend won the pre-heats and the pre-final as well Harry Newman Oakley though was fastest in time qualifying and only sixth in the pre-final so watch Harry Newman Oakley charge through here we go we're up to start as orders and Ryan Taylor Truman wants the clean sweep he's got an absolutely cracking getaway the odd side of the grid gets a better start than the even so through in a second position goes James Watson he's got a cracking start as they wear their way through Billy's blind and up to the S's for the first time Ryan Taylor Truman hits the front and that's a spin the round goes Machi Hamera. That's a really big problem for him. The squadron team driver has spun out in the S's. That is a big problem for Machi. And now it's going to be an interesting one for Ryan Taylor Truman. Can anybody catch him? Well, as he said earlier, Jake, he's been the class of the field so far in the racing. It's uh, Harry Newman Oakley who was the fastest man in time qualifying. But since then, it's been all about the uh, leader as it is at the moment, Ryan Taylor Truman. But look at this for battling down the field. Yeah, Harrison Collings is going for second position. Has he made that move stick? No, he hasn't. He's had to slot in behind James Watson. Fourth position. That looks like the 97 of Sebastian Marlowe trying to get himself back onto the podium as they work their way down. Here we go up the inside. No, James Watson moves to cover. So the 96, Harrison Collings cannot get through just yet. Now, where is our fastest man from time qualifying earlier? Harry Newman Oakley. He's actually he dropped to seventh position or is he going to make the move back for sixth on Michael Salmon who has moved further forward look at the lead Ryan Taylor Truman has got already he is absolutely storming away second position up for grabs again James Watson has got that man once again to his right Harrison Collings trying to get through on the inside again can't find the way to sweep back through the 87 Michael Salmon now runs in fifth position Trying to figure out who that is in the back of the queue. I think that's Sean Cuss as up the inside. That is the move from the 97 up to third position. Sebastian Marlowe makes the move stick. James Watson has held on to second position. And now it looks as though that is Harry Newman Oakley and Sean Cuss trying to move through on Michael Salmon. So good battles all the way through. And this is a very close toss off a second position. Meanwhile, Ryan looks over his shoulder. See you later, boys. You just scrap amongst yourself. I'm off. Clay driver Sebastian Marlowe there in uh, third place currently scrapping over that second spot here come the chasing pack that's the uh, the 42 which is uh, James Crossley leading the chase yep he's in eighth position trying to close up on this uh, six cart battle for the rest of the top six it's very close indeed between them oh up the inside goes Cuss is he going to make the move there Tries his best to get stuck in. We'll see if the green machine is the one in front. No, it's not. He's actually lost ground there as a result of trying to get through. The 86, though, Harry Newman Oakley and all of that has risen to fifth position. So he's now there in the top five. And that's a spin. A spin coming out of top bend. Now, who is that that's gone around? That is Charlie Blackman, who's lost it. And that, unfortunately, drops him further back. Again, great defensive driving there from Harry Newman Oakley to keep 
Uh, now, who is that behind him? Is that Marlow having dropped back? Yes, it is. So Marlow now down into fifth position. The 96, Harrison Collings, is the one trying to get into second position, trying to overhaul James Watson. Watson is very resilient, though, through the horseshoe. They come up through buttons and up towards top bend. It's looking very good in the top five. Example of being quick on the track is one thing, but it's the racecraft that gives you track position, and that is uh, Ryan Taylor Truman's at the moment in terms of uh, the race, but uh, Harry Newman Oakley will be a little bit frustrated that he's set the fastest lap in time qualifying, but finds himself in the chase group rather than out front with uh, Ryan Taylor well, Truman. He's going to get third. For third. Yes, third position. Nicely done. Up the inside and takes the place, and that is at the cost of 96. Harrison Collings, who now falls back into the clutches of the three men behind him. So this is going to be an interesting battle. Sean Cuss takes up the rear gunner position. Trying to close up there on Michael Salmon once again to move up into the top six. Salmon is proving to be quite a tough battler. Still these two in the battle for eighth position. That is James Crossley battling it out with Spencer Schinner. And as they work their way through the S's, down the Sterney straight once again. The battle is for second position. Who's that running around in the top ten? Didn't quite see. We'll try and catch up with that in a bit. But hands hairpin, second position, very much up for grabs. What? Imagine this as a race for the lead without Ryan Taylor Truman. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. Taylor Truman well out front. And now we've got, well, we've got three pairs now, Jake. They're just yep. splitting into pairs. Spencer Marlow has just made the move on the inside of Harrison Collings. That's what split them up. So Collings has dropped out to fifth position. Marlow's gone back into P4. So now we've got, oh, no, hang on. That's the 86 about to lose the place, is it? No, just hanging on in there. Harry Newman Oakley just hangs on to third position. So it's the 64, James Watson in second. Newman Oakley is there in third. Fourth is Marlow, fifth is Collins, sixth is Salmon, and seventh is Cuss. What an amazing scrap we've got between these six. And now there are not three pairs anymore. It's just one long train of six. It's an incredible battle. This is a fantastic circuit, one of the best circuits for racing on the calendar anywhere in the country it's a short lap these will be doing what 34 second lap something like that so it's fairly short but there's overtaking all over the place jake and if you're a racing driver that's what you want opportunities to overtake and what was it that jensen button was always famous for in motor racing smooth driving you have to be very smooth around here oh that's not particularly Watson. smooth and that's watson being nerfed wide that was Harry Newman Oakley deciding, enough, I'm not sitting in third anymore. I'm going for the move, and there wasn't a lot of space. Look, he's moved to cover Watson very nicely, but he turns in. He just doesn't expect Newman Oakley to be there as well. Yeah, well, the man doing the overtaking's got to do it cleanly. And that was Harry Newman Oakley in the 64. has come off worse there. James Watson's dropped to the back of the pile. Well, the question is, is there going to be uh, an investigation into that? Because you could argue that that was avoidable body contact. Well, there's no warning flags about, as far as we can see. Here no goes the move for second. Flags. Marlow up the inside, though. That's all going to come to naught as Newman Oakley's going to lose second, maybe even lose third. This is going to be close. Harrison Collins trying to get alongside. Can't quite make the move stick himself, so he has to stop back into fourth position. So Marlow in second place. Now, where is our man who was second, Watson? He's trying to close them up. Look, he's got the red mist down. He's driving angry. He's trying to get back onto the tail. I am not letting you get away with that, bucko. I am going to get back into second place. Come hell or high water. Still those two battling away for eighth position. That is James Crossley versus Spencer Schinner. So they are trying to close up on these guys. But Marlow now leads the queue for how much longer? Well, this time... Newman Oakley doesn't get up the inside, he doesn't get a chance, but as a result of these two line astern, Watson has now rejoined the back of the queue. Now watch his overtakes. I would not be surprised at all if James Watson picks them off one by one. A little bit of red mist might be down. He might feel that uh, he's a little bit hard done by, by that move down the inside, but the officials seem happy with it. Uh, either that or nobody's seen it, it's not been reported to them. Officials can only deal with what is reported to them or they see themselves. Well, the 15 looks like he's made up yeah, a place. Yeah, okay. Spencer Schinner. He's finally made that overtaking move then on uh, James Crossley and moved up into eighth position. Here they come. There is Schinner. And up into the top 10, that's Emilian Nelson, who's come up into 10th position. 11th, that's the 35 of Callum Voisin, as he loses the place, actually, to the 70 of Daniel Yates. 
So those two scrapping away there. Oh, that's getting a little bit close. And I think that's a man feeling very hard done by James Crossley. Tries to get back on the inside of Spencer Shinner in the horseshoe and ran out of road, unfortunately. Yeah, ends up costing himself uh, three or four cart lengths. So Shinner's got an extra three or four cart lengths as a result. Harrison Collins on the 96. He's running in fourth on the Alonso cart. Well, they're dropping the three guys behind them. Look, the gap is definitely opening up as Watson has worked his way through now into P5. I did tell you he'd be picking them off one by one. He's already got past two of them. So he's made his way past Salmon. He's made his way past Sean Cuss. Now he's got himself up into P5 and he's trying to tag onto the back of Harrison Collings in the 96, who is now making the move. You've got to think that the race leader here, Ryan Taylor Truman, has got to set up difference on his car compared to everybody else when when we raced minimax when my son raced minimax at wigan i remember running seven pound on the front tires five pound on the rear on a hot day when the common thinking was ten pound on the front and twelve pound on the rear and we would often win in hot on hot days by the length of the straight at wigan that's a 200 meter straight and that's pretty much what ryan taylor truman is doing here whether this is some sort of setup difference that he's got uh, over everybody else, I don't know, but normally you wouldn't see this sort of lead. One driver just clearing off like this. It tends to be a setup difference that can make the difference. It's not just about an engine. This is about how you've got the cart set up. And that is as sweet as a nut. Has a quick look over his shoulder, but nothing to fear from the chasing group. No, indeed. The two drivers who were in uh, jeopardy a little bit earlier on, Machi Hamera and Charlie Blackman, are still going, by the way, 13th and 14th, still trying to make up ground. Good for them. You need to keep pushing because you never know what's going to happen. And if you look up in the sky, the clouds are threatening to join the party here as we go into the last lap. So you never know if there's going to be rain on that last lap. They might even pick up a top 10. But for Sebastian Marlow in second position, it looks as though he's got this pretty much sewn up. Third position, meanwhile, is up for grabs but this man is going to carry the e-plate without any shadow of doubt now ryan taylor truman just continuing on his amazing form he won the earlier heat he won the pre-final he's going to make it a clean sweep but third position still very much up for grabs as now up into third has come the 96 harry collings has got him He's got Harry Newman Oakley on the last rain. lap, and it's raining. Rain on the lens, but it's too well, late for this race. It's Not just, this race. just in time. Ryan Taylor Truman gets the flag. Ryan Taylor Truman, the new English champion. I expect to see him in the Super One British Karting Championships next season with this sort of performance. We do come to Clay Pigeon in the championship, and uh, Truman certainly one to watch for next season. He takes the E-plate. Marlow in second place from Harrison Collings, Newman Oakley, Watson and Salmon round up the top six with the fastest lap being set by Sebastian Marlow. Ryan, new English champion. That was pretty straightforward win. Lights to flag for you. Um, does it get any more comfortable than that? Oh, uh, I'd just gone from the start to the flags. It just, just happened. And uh, no pressure at all. Who do you want to thank for your win this weekend? Uh, my mum, my dad, uh, Max Out Motorsport and... Revolution Racing Engines. The name of Ryan Taylor Truman has just been added to my little black book of drivers to watch out for for next year. Coming up is the Rotax 177 class of Masters.